Hello guys, today I will be sharing with you guys how to grow out your hair and this is a lengthy process and it's going to take a while, it's not just going to happen in a couple days but here are some tips on helping you speed up that process and take care of your hair. Okay, so my hair is pretty long. Okay, so my hair is pretty long but I have been growing it for probably over a year and honestly the ends aren't that bad. I know that people say to get monthly trims but that's not necessary. Like maybe if you want good looking hair, maybe if your hair is like that bad, but it's not necessary for growing your hair out because your hair grows from the top of your scalp and your head and not from the ends, so it doesn't really matter. So my ends are actually not bad, except for the longer layers, they're just a little bit they just have a little bit of split ends, but it's not bad. And overall, I don't use a lot of heat on my hair, so... I would recommend using a wooden brush when you are brushing your hair because this way, it, when you brush your hair, you're gonna get the oils from the top of your head and like distribute it down to the rest of your hair. Mine is by Healthy Hair Olivia Garden. Mine's a paddle brush and it just works well. Every so now and then, or whenever you can, probably before bed, you can lay upside down on your bed and then start massaging the scalp of your head to get blood flowing to your head and then, you know, growing some hair out. To speed up the process of growing your hair out, you can put oils into your hair or do a hair masks if you want. You can find them online. Some consist of like mayonnaise and like eggs and um, personally I've tried uh, both of them, eggs and mayonnaise. It's really disgusting but I didn't see much of a difference in my hair but you know, it, it my hair is still decent so. But uh, something you can do to help your hair specifically grow out is either you can leave in coconut oil or what I did was I put in I think it was olive oil into my hair and I have it right now it's disgusting I put it in last night and then I left it in for probably like 15 minutes or something because it was late at night and I didn't want it in my hair all day. But you can choose to wear it overnight or have it in your hair all day and then rinse it out or wash it out. I kind of don't like doing this. Once you have it all distributed through your hair, you want to massage your scalp and then also do the process of flipping your head over and massaging it to get more blood flow to your head. And uh, leave it in for however long you want and then you can wash it out. But I personally do not really like doing that because it's just so hard to wash out all the oil, especially since water is water does not mix with oil, so it's kind of like hard to wash it out. So I would suggest washing your hair at least twice, maybe three times if you need to. I washed mine twice yesterday, so like all of it got out, but I didn't have it in for that long. Um, okay, so your shower routine might have to do with your hair growth because your head or your hair has your scalp has natural oils that it makes and when you wash it out every single day it's just like drying out your hair you should get your hair used to washing your hair maybe two every two or every three days I do it about three days because I've got a lot of it and it's actually hard to wash all of this and then to dry it up. Those oils will just be good for your hair and if you don't want to do that, you don't have to, but if you do do it, the third day might be kind of gross. So just tie it up, it's not that big of a deal. After taking a shower, I would recommend using a wide tooth comb. I have a plastic one, I'm pretty sure it's by Conair. That's what I use to manage my hair after it's like wet and after it's from a shower, obviously. Another tip I have is to take vitamins and to maybe eat healthier because whatever you put into your body is what appears 
<laughs> everywhere so your face everything your hair but biotin helps with your hair nails and skin when your hair starts to grow out you want to take care of it so what I personally like to do is I like to put oil down here sometimes up here because it can be dry up there sometimes and that just helps to protect your ends probably and help it from frizzing keeping it from being damaged any kind of oil maybe Moroccan oil that is kind of pricey though so I don't have Moroccan oil you can always find another product that is for you that suits you and that you can afford so I'm pretty sure mine is Garnier something to do with frizz but it's a six ounces and I think it was like six dollars or something it lasts you a very long time I, mine is almost empty but I've had it for like two three years or something okay so that is all the tips I have for you guys today so I hope you like this video I hope you learned something if you have any questions feel free to ask anything in the comment section below I hope this video helped you guys and if you did like it leave a thumbs up for me so that I know that you guys actually like my videos <laughs> And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe as well. Speaking of hair, because my hair is so long and I've had it for a while, I mean like, yeah, it's great, it's pretty and all. It makes me feel beautiful. I am actually thinking of donating it, but I'm actually not sure because I've got layers. I'm not sure the rules behind the layers. Nine inches or your shortest layer has to be at least eight inches. But I'm not sure, so I'm probably going to donate my hair. So yeah, my hair is probably going to look like this. I'm going to look like this later. Probably. So once you get your long hair, maybe you can try donating too. I just decided to because like, why not? If I'm going to cut it, might as well give it to someone who actually wants it. So that will just be for the better. And... Then I'll have short hair and I'll grow it out again. So, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys later.